sing with our nearest and dearest. The more you love them, the more fun it is to prank them. Brother versus sister, it's on! Grab a coin and some clear tape. Tape the coin to the faucet. Just a little wake-up call for my dear bro. Hey, Ben. I'm fully awake. Why is she so chipper? Damn it. I didn't come here for a shower. I'm getting tired of your little joke, Zoe. Luckily, I've got a few tricks up my sleeve. Only blood can take out this stain. Or some red paint. Don't skimp. Get that faucet nice and covered. Time to enjoy our revenge. Early morning bro pranks really set the tone for the rest of the day. And I'm gonna be having a good one. Oh, she'll be having a good one, all right. Ah, the weekend. No need to rush anywhere. I can finally indulge in peace. Strawberries and whipped cream, anyone? I think my bro Tom would also be down for a snack. After all, he's always stealing my food. Switch the whipped cream out for mayo. Hide it behind the plate. And the rest is pure prowess. Make sure you've got actual whipped cream. We're going to be using it as bait. Mmm, so oh. delicious. Mm. Fine, you can have some too. Don't forget the whipped cream. You're just too much of a simpleton to appreciate fine dining. Sleep tight, sweet brother. Grow big and strong. Maybe you'll finally grow up. Time to wash up and get dressed. Rise and shine. Good morning, world. Wait a second. What's up with my clothes? Did I sleep for a year and go through a growth spurt? Oh. My sister definitely had something to do with this. You know how when you order pizza, not only do you get a delicious meal in good company, but also an odd number of slices? That always seems to happen. That last slice is always the cheesiest and no one ever wants to give it up. Especially not my brother. This time though, it's gonna be mine. Oh, bless you, Natalie. You can finish it off yourself. Thanks, bro. You're the best. I'll do anything for my lovely sis. Even peeling carrots if it will make her happy. Well, make me happy. Grab your carrot, wash, peel, and carve it into a bar. Figured out where I'm going with this? What about now? Get your carrot nice and chocolatey. Get rid of the excess. And voila! We've got a delicious Snickers bar. Stick it in the wrapper and it's showtime. Hey Zoe, what's up? I've been waiting all day to eat this. You want some? Of course you do. Here you go. Ugh, either the Snickers is older than I am, or my bro just got me again. You're welcome, sis. This prank goes out to my favorite sibling. Grab some chocolate spread and get it all over the toilet seat so that it looks, well, super realistic. Give me a minute, please. All done. Go ahead. Uh. 
Ugh. Go ahead. More like go backwards. Need to get that image out of my head stat. <sighs> this should help. You'll need liquid soap and a rubber spider. Stick the spider in the bottle and leave them there to chill. Screw back the lid and the wait begins. She'd better fall for this. <sighs> Gonna wash my hands real quick. How did that get there? Nothing more important than good hygiene. I think Mike is right for something explosive. Balloons ready? And this nail is too. Use double-sided tape to stick them to the wall by the door. Now tape your nails to the door itself. Make sure the nail and the balloon are at the same height. Nice and loud. Now that was a good one. Hey Mike, how are you gonna top that? Oh man, why do boys always take so long to text back? That's weird. I wasn't expecting anyone. <gasps> Who's that hottie on the other side? I think my prince has finally arrived. A couple touch-ups and I'm off to meet my dream man. I'm ready. Opening up, my love. Hey, sissy poo. Didn't recognize me without my glasses? Did my hair throw you off? Hey, where are you going? This prank is perfect for tea time. Squeeze some shaving cream into the tart. Looks perfectly good to eat. Aw, you got nothing to go with your tea. But I do. Make sure you remember which is which, though. Ew, what is that? It tastes oh. soapy. <laughs> well, sis, I've got something for you, too. Just don't eat too much or your clothes won't fit. Bro, I was just kidding. Working with a carrot requires finesse. If you play your cards right, you can turn it into just about anything. Mike's gonna show us how. And here's our lipstick replacement. Cut off the excess. And make sure it moves right. Our carrot stick's finally ready. <laughs> Ready to go in someone's bag. <laughs> Just gonna throw on some lipstick. What? What's wrong with my lipstick? Wait a second. This isn't lipstick at all. It's a... <laughs> Thanks, bro. Hilarious and nutritious. I think I'm gonna borrow Mike's razor. If I put it back exactly how I find it, he'll never know, right? <sighs> Ugh, why is she always using my razor? I've got just the thing to teach her a lesson. Grab a makeup brush, cut the tip and stick it on the razor so it's no longer visible. I bet Natalie will never try to borrow it again. <laughs> yep, just what I thought. There is no way Mike's gonna miss an episode of his favorite YouTube show. A blogophile like him doesn't care where nor how he's gonna get his daily dose in, as long as his trusty gadget is by his side. But. Part of the fun is watching with someone you could then discuss with. Good thing Ashley here is a fellow fan. Okay, so maybe Mike's phone doesn't want to stay put. That doesn't make for a very convenient watching situation. What if he just leans it against these notebooks? That didn't work. 
fine. Let's try this. Nope. Come on, man. Why can't you just stay still? <sighs> I've got something we could try. Now the phone's definitely not going anywhere. Oh, come on! What am I supposed to do now? Think, Mike, think! You can do it! Paper clips? How are they gonna help? You only need one. Still don't know where we're going? Check it! Bend half the paper clip like so. And ta-da! Put the phone down carefully, and your personal movie theater is ready for action. I don't believe my eyes. It actually worked. Looks like Mikey's gonna go to an actual movie theater soon. And not alone, either. Crib sheets. The whole point is that they have to be inconspicuous. But what's the best way of achieving this? And of actually having them be there when you need them? Don't worry, Natalie. We've got a plan. <sighs> Try this hack with your best friend. Just tape your notes to her back and use her hair to hide it. Yup, just like that. gonna ask Natalie why she's sleeping in class because the teacher might see and kick us out for talking. Nat's gonna have to deal with catching up on everything she missed by herself. Hey, get it together, Natalie. Or come up with a hack. Mm. This little hack will allow you to be in two places at once. How? You'll need your glasses and a photo of yourself wearing glasses. One to one ratio so the proportions are right. Carefully cut out the rims and make sure your eyes are actually looking into the classroom. Now stick them inside the glasses. Just like that. Perfect. And there you have it. Natalie is now in two places at once. In class. And in her sweet, sweet dreams. Hopefully, it will only be the bell that wakes her. You can't use this hack if you sit up front. But that doesn't matter. Everyone knows that's where the nerds sit anyway. Everyone else can put this one to good use. We all know eating's not allowed in the classroom. But we'll just see about that. Just make sure you're careful, because facing the wrath of the teacher is not exactly fun. So, here's what we're gonna do. Use your preferred writing utensil to poke a hole in the bag. Stick it between the desks, and voila! Snacks ready, and no one's gonna kick you out for indulging. Help yourself, girlfriend, before it's all gone. <gasps> Do 
dealing with a particularly nosy teacher? Just camouflage the bag and enjoy your snack in peace. Crunch, crunch, and crunch. Sooner or later, that dreaded day is gonna come. The day when you get called up to the board and you're not ready. Don't freak out though, there's always a way out. If you've practiced understanding your study partner, that is. Make sure you and your bud develop a system both of you understand. Yup, both of you understand. <laughs> There's a million little tips, tricks, and hacks you could use. It just takes some time and practice. So don't get down on yourself if you can't get a good system going right away. Next time, you'll surely awe them all. Go back to your desk, Natalie. Come on, Ashley, show them how it's done. Check out this multiplication hack. If you need to multiply each number by nine, write down zero to nine in order, top to bottom. Then again, the bottom to top in the second column. If that's not magic, I don't know what is. Okay, so math can be pretty strange at times. And it's definitely best to know the multiplication tables by heart. But just look at that. Still pretty cool, right? Just look at the way those numbers align. Seriously, who would have thought that you could just write them in order like that? This is seriously amazing! Seven, eight, Nine. I'm a genius. Hey, Ben. Can I borrow your stapler? Sure. Go for it. Um, thanks for letting me know it's broken. This little life hack will save you money and get you some creativity points. Grab a utility knife and make a cut going through all the sheets, stopping before the edges. Repeat. Now bend the edge and now your sheets ain't going anywhere. Whoa. I'm clearly sitting next to a genius. You. Feeling the need to express your love? There's nothing to it. Unless there are no scissors around. This one goes out to all those stubborn souls that refuse to give up. Grab two rulers. And use their sharp edges instead of scissors. Perfect. Such a sweet gesture. First heart is for the one that helped us out, of course. Gratitude is super important, after all. This has been Too Cool for School. Try out our hacks and let us know how they work out for you down in the comments. And make sure you hit that subscribe button. See you soon!